Mr. Bond, your Prime Minister speaking. Any progress on your mission? Squack for your eyes only. Mr. Bond, is this a joke? Maybe a parrot would be more efficient than 007, as he would uh, act uh, as a homing pigeon. Uh, okay, uh, uh, Burza, you're hired. For your eyes only, it's directed by John Glenn and is the fourth Roger Moore Bond movie as well as the twelfth instalment of the James Bond franchise overall. So For Your Eyes Only tells the story uh, of uh, a, a vessel uh, which uh, carries a key uh, British intelligence. It, it vanishes uh, off the face of the earth without a trace. So. So our, so everybody's uh, favourite uh, uh, spy, 007 himself, is uh, sent by MI6 uh, to investigate its whereabouts, while at the same time uh, uh, helping uh, the uh, helping uh, Melina uh, 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 get through her her grief of uh, of losing her parents. It's been a month or two since my channel has felt a Bond-centric, hasn't it? So, well, thankfully, uh, the uh, uh, second uh, 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 trailer for No Time to Die did uh, pique my interest in in a, a continuing my uh, uh, James Bond reviews again. Uh, and I'm now halfway through uh, my uh, James Bond marathon, and just uh, 12 more movies to go until my uh, review of No Time to Die uh, this November. And uh, For Your Eyes Only was the first uh, of uh, uh, a dozen Bond movies to be directed by John Glenn. He he uh, was uh, uh, clearly passionate about this franchise and and uh, and couldn't stay away, uh, and and uh, uh, for his, his as for his first Bond movie, for your eyes only, this this movie uh, uh, sadly gets a bad rep, and and as uh, some of my subscribers uh, 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 pick this one as their least favourite of the Roger Moore era. And that's okay if uh, this movie didn't do it for you. This is not a, a perfect a Bond movie by any stretch of the imagination. But uh, but I but I still think, uh, like uh, the man with the golden gun, this one gets far too much hate so from from the fans. Uh, this is a uh, this uh, and uh, the man with the golden gun are the two most underrated Roger Moore Bond flicks for me. And and for your eyes only, maybe my uh, third favourite in my ranking of the Roger Moore Bond era. Uh, oh, in general. Uh, I would only put it below uh, the spy who loved me and live and let die. I I rank it that high, and and this movie is a is a a true a treat uh, for your eyes. And I have no idea why I've always been more generous to this movie than most, and uh, maybe it's uh, uh, for nostalgic reasons. As I did uh, catch this movie on TV when I was staying up late one night in my room and, and I saw uh, a James Bond movie was on and I I just I just hours of curiosity checked it out and and I'm glad I didn't miss it so I guess uh, that's what made me a lover of For Your Eyes Only from from that day on and uh, I uh, what uh, made For Your Eyes Only a a uh, total return to form for Roger Moore as Bond after the uh, uh, mediocre Moonraker was that this one uh, uh, returns to the classic Bond tropes and and uh, it, it, it does uh, feel uh, similar to Thunderball of taking place in in the ocean a, a lot of the time and, and having a a vessel submarine a plot plot line in there but so uh, but this but this movie uh uh did it uh, uh 
uh, twice as good as, as Thunderball did, and and uh, it uh, I I uh, think that, uh, that that Roger Moore uh, uh, is a it gives his final great performance as James Bond. In the next two movies, sadly, he would show signs that he's getting tired of the role, but but in For Your Eyes, though, the, uh, he, he gives Bond a, a, uh, a, 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 he gives Bond a, a more, some, some real humanity, I think, how, how he is not, he's not just going after this, this vessel, he's not, uh, he, he's, he's not only going after a MacGuffin, he's also, um, helping our, our lead Bond girl, well, get through the most difficult time of her life, uh, uh, and, and he, and he, uh, uh, tells uh, her uh, in the movie's climax and uh, not to be a killer. He, he, he tells her to to show mercy and and be be uh, the better person. And Carol Bouquet, uh, uh, she is uh, one of the most uh, uh, underappreciated and most uh, uh, terrific uh, Bond girls. Uh, period. Uh, yeah, not not uh, only. Uh, does uh, uh, she uh, look, look amazing? I mean, uh, I, I, I mean, uh, R Roger Moore was was the luckiest uh, 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 man uh, back in uh, the eighties uh, to act uh, with an actress as uh, gorgeous as her. But also, she she she's a she's a she feels like she's a bomb girl with with some extreme uh, depth to her, and she feels like she. She goes on a a legit journey in this movie of of dealing with the 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 assassination of her parents and how how she overcomes that and and doesn't she doesn't let it uh, co corrupt her she doesn't let it make her a murderer and and uh, the the final scene her. Uh, her and Bond uh, share together, where she's like, for your lies only, and she unravels uh, the uh, towel around them, and they both uh, go for a dive in, in the ocean, uh, while uh, Margaret Thatcher, who was the Prime Minister of the UK at the time, she, she is on the phone, and, uh, and uh, this, this Paris on the ship is, is answering that. That is one of uh, the uh, top uh, five uh, greatest final scenes in a Bond movie of all time, uh, in, in my controversial opinion. How did that parrot not get promoted by MI6 for beating uh, Bond to uh, answering a phone call from the Prime Minister uh, herself? And, uh, and, uh, 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 the, and the carrot and the other Bond girl, Bibi, she, 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 uh, is a a comic relief character who's uh who's a legitimately entertaining and and she's never uh she never gets on your nerves uh, once and and she she's this ice skater who's who's uh, who's and she's the the niece of the movie's antagonist uh, uh Chris Starrows who and that's hard for her to deal with finding out her uncle is a criminal so. So, so yeah, she really did disowns him at, at the end of the movie. Uh, yeah, this in this movie, the Bond girls are, are feel f fully useful, and uh, and uh, the the villain of uh, the piece here, Christaros, this Greek smuggler who 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 isn't revealed to be the villain until late in the day, which was surprising. But but that's but that's what's great about him. He. He uh he he kept up an act of a befriending Bond until the second half of the movie. Uh so uh so so this is a Bond movie that uh that uh, uh threw simplicity out of the window and 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 knows uh, how to uh, uh keep you on your toes uh, uh with with its scripts uh, and the climactic. Uh, Fight of this movie was not afraid to get pretty dark. Uh, this uh, is uh, uh, certainly among uh, the uh, uh, darker Roger Moore Bond movies. Even though Roger Moore has an ex 
and has a reputation for being the campiest of all of all the bombs. Uh, but uh, but in this finale, uh, just to see uh, to see Christos just uh, uh, hit hit uh, be be his niece. So when when she is a uh, uh, just when she is uh, standing up to him, it's uh, it's just uh, it's it's just uh, awful. And uh, and uh, when he's finally brought brought to justice brought to his knees and 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 uh May melina she's about to uh uh shoot him with the crossbow but uh it's as but a uh, bomb gives her some advice it's as if a uh, it's as if a uh, gandalf's words from the hobbit and unexpected journey uh pass through her ears true courage is not knowing when to take a life but when to spare one so she spares him uh uh, uh, but uh, but then another dude uh, just uh, takes out Christos, uh, so so he he still gets uh, his his just deserts and uh, and uh, uh, the uh, uh, title sequence and uh, the theme song uh, with with uh, the with the woman in 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 the ocean and and the and the water effects uh, to uh, to give a to give her uh, this title sequence uh, such a mood. It, it's such a graceful song and uh, the uh, imagery is uh, incredibly immaculate. Sheen and Easton's uh, For Your Eyes Only a theme song has uh, such a ring to it and uh, is uh, one of uh, the better themes of uh, the, the more uh, bombed era. Though if my eyes had to uh, spot uh, one glaring and negative with For Your Eyes Only, it would have to be the character of Luigi, uh, not not to, uh, Mario's brother Luigi, the Bond sidekick in this movie. He, uh, is, he is the most completely pointless character in, in this film and uh, and uh, this negative applies uh, to uh, all of the sidekicks in the John Glenn uh, uh, James Bond movie. So that you can see that John Glenn uh, hates uh, uh, sidekicks uh, in in Bond movies. So he depletes uh, every single one of them and and all and just writes them in there so that he can uh, abuse them and kill them off. Uh, so so uh, so uh, if you uh, sign up for to to be to be casted as the sidekick in a John Glenn James Bond movie, your your character is screwed. Uh, but uh, but uh, uh, overall, uh, for for your eyes only, uh, is a uh, fantastic. Uh, why why uh, uh, all uh, the hate? Uh, uh, it's uh, it's a uh, uh, it, it feels uh, uh, more like a Bond than. Uh, other Roger Moore installments like Moonraker or Octopussy uh, will will ever do, and uh, and it has a, a more emotion and and plot to it so than than the other uh, campier Roger Moore installments. I give for your eyes only four stars out of five. Great movie. So yeah, this is not going to be the last uh, James Bond movie that I'm in the minority about. So, uh, well, I love you guys. Thank you all for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this review. And what are your thoughts on For Your Eyes Only? Uh, uh, please comment and let me know. Please like this video and subscribe. But please uh, follow me on Twitter and on Instagram. And I'll see you all next time uh, when I uh, review uh, Octopussy. Uh, Oh boy, that's going to be a, a, a tough one to get through. And remember, movies are us. Bye, guys.